This is Kanikin's back to look at another way to take existing quizzes, practice tests, and turn them into stronger digital formative tools where we can get instant feedback for students and save ourselves a lot of time as well. We're going to use an uh, app called Kami. So a couple ways to get there. Um, one is to go into your Google Drive and open a PDF. And then if you have the Kami extension installed, you'll see it's just a a round purple K. Um, if we have that installed already, I can click on annotate with Kami and then it'll open up. Now, if you aren't having that extension installed yet, what you can do is you can come into, um, if you go to Kami app, you'll get to a screen that looks like this and it'll want you to sign up or log in. And what we're gonna do is um, when you first join, Cami, if you're joining for the first time, it'll offer you a few months free. So absolutely go ahead and take that advantage of that. Uh, if you've used up your free time, um, you can come to the top right hand and under where it says uh, license dashboard, nope, not that one, sorry, under where it says license coupon, try that again. If you type in hero Cami and hit apply, that will get you four months additional free premium. And so the features that we're gonna look at today, uh, the AI conversion of PDFs into quizzes is a paid feature. And then also the, um, if you wanna push that out through Google Classroom, that part is paid as well. So uh, we have this opening dashboard uh, that we can look at. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right down to questions with AI assessment, we're gonna convert. So we're gonna take existing questions and see what it does for auto grading. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna come into my Google Drive because that's what we're gonna use. Um, I can uh, search my drive for PDFs, or in this case, I'm just gonna go to recent because I know I was just in this document and I'm going to click on the document. I'm gonna press select and it says, oh, this looks like a scanned uh, PDF, would you like it to recognize the test text? So what's happening right now is it's not OCR compatible, but um, this version of Cami will do that. So I'm going to say run text recognition. So what's that, what that's doing is it's, it's seeing the text in the PDF. This happens in all different types of products. Okay, so now I have page ranges. It has from page one to three. Now let's see, I just want to take the second page. So I'm going to go from page two to page two here. Now here are my questions and I'm going to click on convert questions. Get ready for the magic. Now it, this takes some time. It'll do a countdown and it might take a little bit longer than that. We'll just wait. All right, so it has finished, and now look at this. It has 19 questions. Maybe it gave me more than the second page. And it, if you take a look, it also identifies the answers. Now, I didn't have a key attached, so it's used its AI capabilities to um, wherever it could to figure out the answer keys. Now, of course, this is AI. It looks like it's all picking D, but there's a C, a C. Um, you should always, of course, ask, or you should always double check your answers. And so um, we, of course, would want to do that. Now, there's a couple other things that you can do. So down here, somewhere along the line, it couldn't identify an answer key. And we can also click in here. Let's say if I want to edit this, make this into one word instead of a... Um, hyphenated word, I can fix that. Okay, so I can uh, go in and I can check my answer key and fix the ones that need it. All right, I'm just going to leave those for right now so I can make sure that they're accurate. Uh, now, a couple other things here. Um, we can reorder questions if we would like. Now, on my original document, these were also numbered differently. So if I wanted to make sure that I could still identify which questions went with my original document. Again, I can edit. And so I could say, oh, this one's 22. Okay, this one's 23. 
So I could, I could change any of these that I want if I want to make it um, readable. You'll also see at the end, I can uh, change it if I want it to be not multiple choice, if I want to change the point value. Um, I can randomize the order of the answers if I would like. So if I'm concerned about students um, being dishonest with each other, I can also add a hint and I can type my hint in right here. I can put a link in there as well. So lots of uh, different things that we can do as far as giving extra attention to those questions. Um, and I can add additional questions if I like, I can edit. Now I can also take a look at the student preview. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm just gonna close that. So you can see over here, it has the test PDF on the left and the questions are here. They don't have answers. And I would just click what I want. Now, as a student version, I can also, you'll see I get a read aloud button. 22, in respect of the traffic procedures at an uncontrolled aerodrome, when departing the circuit or aerodrome, turns back toward the circuit or aerodrome should not be initiated until at least uh, the circuit altitude B. Now, I'm not sure if you could hear that, but you can see that it is reading for me. So that is a great help for students. Ah, here you can see the hint that we added. And I didn't actually type anything in there, but you can see the little light bulb for the hint. So that's super helpful as well if you have... Um, other materials or things that you have in class. Now you can see here on this question um, that it didn't, it's not very tidy. So uh, when I'm back in my teacher view, I probably would want to go through and tidy those up a little bit. But that is the student view. If I've connected it to Google Classroom, I will get uh, results, okay? So I can see the results of the student. And of course I didn't answer those in exit. And there we're back to the original question. And again, I could see where I should probably do a little bit more editing here um, so that those words aren't split up. That would make it better for the voice to text as well. But that is Kami, auto AI questions, auto AI answers, with a lot of other uh, really helpful features. And so this would be a great place to build out your um, items. Now, if you have the premium version of Kami, this can also be attached to Google Classroom. So if we come up here, uh, we can export um, this document. We can also save the changes to Google Drive. So when I save it to Google Drive, it will attach with the Kami questions there as well. And I can also come over here and on that big share button, you can see where I can change it from. It's going to start off as restricted. I'm going to want to change this to anyone with the link. And then also I'm going to use this create assignment button. Again, premium feature. So you'll recognize this looks quite like the Google Classroom page. Um, and so I could call this weather practice test. And I'll just put in here that it's from Kami. And it also notes here, uh, Kami PDF, make a copy for each student is recommended. Now the fabulous thing about Kami in Google Classroom, if you have the premium version, is that you can actually change questions after it's been published. That's really magic for Google Classroom. Um, we can choose the class that we want. And then you'll also notice that we can pick, oopsie, pick different students. 
and now it's attached to my Google Classroom. So lots of great ways to quickly use Kami to create tests and then um, when you run that through Google Classroom, you'll get the Google Classroom in the Grades tab as well.